Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the world's latest June birch box. Um, I can't even believe how long it took for this to arrive. I placed my order, I think, on June the 10th, and it's now July the 5th. So I hope you guys had a great holiday. I had a pretty good weekend. Um, it rained on the actual holiday, and it's going to be raining again today. But yeah, it was a good holiday. We had crabs. If you're not following me on Instagram, I posted um, the the whole crab pot with all of the crabs in it. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, so I said in my May birch box unboxing that that was going to be my last birch box. However, I came across a deal that was just too good to be true. Um, I'm a member of Swagbucks, if you're familiar with that site. Um, it has a bunch of different ways for you to earn points, and then the points turn into gift cards. But one of the offers was subscribe to Birchbox for $10 a month, obviously, and get 1,000 Swagbucks, which equals $10. And then Birchbox was also doing a deal where if you subscribe to Birchbox, um, and you entered in a specific code that you would get a free full-size lip lacquer. So between the lip product and the $10 back in points, I decided to subscribe for one more month just to take advantage of both of those deals. Um, so here is the box that everything shipped in, and then it was like... I, I opened this already just to make everything easier, but it was like a box inside of a box inside of a box. So. The bonus item is this Smith & Colt, the Shining Lip Lacquer, and this is a full-size lip lacquer. Um, I'm not familiar with this brand very much. I know that they make some really pretty nail polishes, but that's what it looks like. And this is in the shade, her name Bubbles. I don't know, it's like a bright, corally, milky color. So that was nice. This is like a value of about $22. So that was free. And then here is the birch box. So I, like I said, it was a box, that peach box, inside with this pink box. And then if you open it up again, it's another box. Like, oh, birch box. So that was what the June box looks like. And I don't know what birch box is up to because they, like, didn't send me any tissue paper or pillow packs. Everything was just like rolling around in here with this little bit of foam in the bottom. But um, here is the card. I don't care what it says. On the back it tells you the products that you received and the full size prices. And then they also threw in an advertisement for the new Benefit Brow stuff. So here is a first look at everything that was sent to me. The first item is a repeat offender. This is the Wish Shave Cream with the vitamin K and rice milk. This is 0.75 fluid ounces. I'll use it. Of course I will. I always use shave cream, but it's not particularly exciting for me. The next thing I received is from Dr. Jart, and it's their Every Sunday UV Sun Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Again, I can use it. I'm not particularly excited about it. I would rather it be a higher SPF for me because I am super fair, but it'll get used and the expiration isn't until 2019, so that's a long time. The next thing I have is from Oribe. So this is a hair product. It's their Super Shine Moisturizing Cream and this is half of a fluid ounce. It says work into damp hair, blow out or dry naturally use on strays throughout the day. So I guess it's just a leave-in cream. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried that it's going to be a little bit too heavy for my thin hair, but I'll give it a go and I'm sure you'll see it in an empties coming up. Then I have a skincare product from Kiehl's. This is a tiny little sample. Um, this is their Precision Lifting and Pore Tightening Concentrate and this is 0.17 fluid ounces. I can absolutely use anything to tighten my pores. Across my nose, it has gotten a lot better over the past couple of months, but I still don't like how visible my pores are. 
so we'll see how that goes and I can probably get through this kind of quickly since it is so small. Again, keep an eye out for my empties review. And the last product that I received, I would be particularly excited about it if I didn't have a million other black eyeliners that were already open, um, but this is from Ardency In. It's their Modster Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in black, and this is uh, 0.8 grams or 0.028 ounces. And I believe when I looked this up, this was more than half of the full size. I think the full size is around 20 bucks, so that's a really generous sample to receive. Um, I am trying to work through some of my black eyeliners, so I'm not going to be swatching this right now, but I have heard really good things about this line, and especially this liner in general, so um, yeah, that was really nice to receive. So I think overall, you know, the products didn't particularly wow me, but the deal that I got between the $10 in points and the free full-size lip product made the box pretty worth it to me, but this is absolutely going to be my very last birch box, at least for the foreseeable future, um, just because of the change in the point system. Um, I will be cashing out all of my points. I think I have like 260 points. So once they switch over to the new system where you can spend however many points that you want in an order instead of waiting for the $10 increments, um, I will make one final purchase and then be done with Birchbox um, for the time being. I just, I was so frustrated at how long this box took to arrive. I couldn't believe that it took so long to process. I didn't receive a shipping notification until the very end of June and I had contacted customer service after about two weeks and all they told me was it could take up to 10 business days for your order to process and I'm like it's been 10 business days like I looked at the calendar I'm like Monday through Friday is five days and Monday through Friday is another five days and there were no holidays that were happening so it was just really annoying um, so between that experience and the change in the point system that's coming up, I'm just not happy with Birchbox. I think that they have really alienated their customers with all of these changes, so that is going to be my last Birchbox for the foreseeable future. Unless there's any other deal where I can get another free box, I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't know. But yeah. That was my birch box for June. I hope you guys are well. Let me know what you got in your June birch box if you were still subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye guys.